Yeah, I know. Holy shit. Whoa. <laughs> I, I'm not ready yet. I'll put that probably in the intro because that's still good info to know for everyone. But holy crap, I was not ready for that. Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome back to Detroit Become Human with me, Michael, your rejected product gamer. I'm hitting continue. I'm not entirely sure where we're going from. Oh, is it starting us back at the Kara thing? Because that's not what I need. Um, hold up. This might be problematic. Um, so the reason it's doing this is because I actually went back and redid the Connor story a couple times because I got really intrigued by all the different endings. And as you probably saw at the very beginning is that your choices actually can affect people, make them die. And as we saw in the first part, my decision caused Connor to fall off the building and probably die a whole lot, as in like super dead. But yeah, so I guess when I hit continue, I it just continued on from there. But obviously we don't need to technically do this. But essentially, so, what you saw in part one now is no longer relevant because I went back and redid it to a point where I got Connor to save the girl and had the defective or malfunctioning android assassinated. And so I think the storyline of Connor will continue. While that's being done, let me go back to the main menu. Let's go ahead and skip right on back over to the most recent chapter. But moving forward now, I am 100% not going to do any replays of anything until I finish the game. Because I want things to kind of continue as they were. Yes, I know. Um, I guess this is just pretty... So can I not just choose to start here? Please? <laughs> do I need to... So I... Ah, launch chapter. There it is. Uh, yeah, save the progress. See, so yeah, that was the thing. I could do, I could have done do not save and tried to do Connor's thing just to see the other options, but then not have it override. And so I might do that with off, off camera plays just so that I don't ruin the progression of what's happening on the channel. But for Connor, I just, he seemed like such a good Android and I was already invested after just the first part that I really needed to keep him alive. So I brought him back. And so everything in part one through four, you probably saw now is going to be a little a little wonky, maybe. I'm not entirely sure how much that messes with storylines. I don't think Kara and Marcus's storylines got interfered with at all. They shouldn't have anyway. But here we go. Um, we'll see who this is at this point. Ah, the coin flipping. We got Connor back. Yes! I also got a soda here so that I can do the whole drinking game thing that I mentioned in last episode. Also just to stay hydrated. It's soda. It's not anything alcoholic. Ooh, no androids allowed. That's rude. Fuck you, I'm coming in. <laughs> All right, what have we got here? Oh boy. Find Lieutenant Anderson. I can do that. Scan, 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 scan. <laughs> Presumably I need to actually hover over certain. Who are you? Who are you? You are Edward Dempsey. You're not who I'm looking for. What's the name of the person I'm already looking for? There looks like there's a face. There we go. Bartender. Aha. Who are you? Jimmy Peterson. What am I trying to do again? Who am I trying to find? I've already forgotten the name. Anderson, was it? Who are you? You are Derek Myers. Hey, this is probably something really personal and business-wise. So how about you just zip it, mister? Who are you exactly? Tell me who you are. Christopher Gray. <laughs> Your hair is very white, though. Maybe you should change it. <laughs> got him. Android humor. Oh, we also got this person that I need to analyze. Excuse me, sir. Do you happen to know who you are? You are Jonah Graham. You are not who I'm looking for. Carry on, human. Keep doing your human things. New human has approached. Who are you, human? You are Johan Kim. Kim Johan. Wait, what was that about domestic abuse? Ah, he's got a criminal record. He's a delivery driver, but currently unemployed. Born in 1999. Oh, right, we're in 2038. I was like, he looks so old for being 21 years old, but nope. Can I please move? <laughs> move away. <laughs> All right, you, sir. Oh, come on, how can I not scan that face? You're right next to me. 
Nope, nope, do not go back into the kitchen. Oh, this is the bathroom. This is... Check on myself. Why not? Man, I look good as an android. Oh, boy. I got that smolder. That stop, that pose, that turn. Nothing? I mean, nothing of interest. Wait, what does that say? 31% unemployment rate. When will it stop? We will job something? So yeah, looks, ban androids, yeah, definitely a lot of anti-android propaganda here, but we'll see what we can do. Okay, we got this face. Who are you? Janice Ward, you're, wait, do you have a criminal record? Narcotic supplier. So we got a lot of criminals in here. I, I've noticed that. Oh, your face. I can see it. <laughs> Give it to me. Give me your face. Chris Roberts, no record, but unemployed. So I guess that's probably why there's a lot of... No, no androids around here. These are all people that have been disenfranchised with the whole addition of androids into into their lives. I'm already lost. It's not it's not good that this room and this building that is so small. I don't know what I'm doing. This is not an, this is not a good indication of Connor's remaining life. Is that it? There we go. Jeez, of course it's the last face that I can't find. Oh no. Do not. Oh, you're, you're, you're jeopardizing him. Very matter of fact. So it's established that you're an alcoholic? <laughs> Lucky. Trust me, I've been doing this for six hours. I'm very bad at this. Huh. Oh, okay, so now are we going to be a buddy cop kind of comedy? Please, sir. You're an alcoholic. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, watch your mouth. Um, I'm going to reason with you. That's not what, necessarily what I meant by reasoning with him, but I guess that's what we'll have to go with. Is he going to throw the drink in my face? Is he going to throw the rest of it in my face? Come on. Um, I'm going to persist. Honor your badge. Yes. Let me guess. Up your ass. Oh, <laughs> come on. <laughs> uh, the naivety. You know what? Let me buy you another drink. Come on. Come on. We can get along. Androids understand drinks. Come on. There we go. There we go. All right, we're gonna start getting getting along together. We're gonna do better. Come on, Hank. Hank Schmank, Connor Schmanner. It's got a nice little ring to it, a nice little drunken ring. I, I said it was for the road, not for right now, you drunk. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Chances are we probably know. Oh, okay, so crime, scene of the crime, crime of the scene. Man, the graphics on these are absolutely stunning. I am amazed by this. Are you sure you're okay to drive? This car looks like it's from the 80s despite it being in the future. I'm diplomatic. Let me come out with you. Uh, now, do I uh, do I follow instructions? Conflicting orders, selecting priority. Mm. Following. Okay. Hup. Thank goodness the game told me what to do. Oh, do I need to start handling the press? Is that going to be my job? Because I could probably be very diplomatic. Haha, -ha, he's actually helping me out. Thank you. That's what's up. I'm persistent like you. Crystal clear, I can do that for you. I can do that. I'll just be an extra pair of eyes. That's, that's not a great thing to say. How is it that this police society is not taking advantage of all the benefits that come 
from having an android, someone that could be impartial, objective oriented, and not. Ha! Huh, doesn't bother me. I'm an android. Wow, it is an absolute mess. Can I scan it really quick? Okay, there's a couple of objectives over there. Wow, he is a fat fucker, isn't he? You don't say. Yeah. There's got to be something more to it than this. Examine. Don't touch it. Some kind of drug? What is that here? Data. Red ice. Not entirely sure what that is. Right? I mean, yes. I don't know if that's supposed to be something in the world or... Is that real life? One out of ten pieces of evidence? That's a lot of evidence. I'm also like trying to talk and understand. Uh, ooh, let's analyze. <laughs> let's not sample it. No fingerprints, Android involvement. Question, ooh. Mmm, I'll sample it, because I'm here. I don't know if there's a way to get out of it. <sighs> okay, there we go. Dried blood. Okay, Carlos Ortiz. We know the victim. Presumably. I gotta keep reviewing evidence here. What all what else have we got all? But yeah, I'm trying to listen in to what they're doing so that I can actually get their perspective while also talking to you guys. So I may have missed some valuable information from them, but we'll see. More dried blood. Sample date more than 19 days. So this is three weeks old of almost three weeks old blood that we're dealing with. We got a we got a lot to work around here. We're very late to this crime. Something about a strip club. Gentleman's club, I should say. Definitely, definitely not a clean man. <laughs> Just show this to anyone that's like, they come to my room and they're like, Michael, you gotta clean up around this place. I'm like, hey, at least it's not as bad as this. Okay, ooh, dresser, let's go over there. And I don't think I've missed anything else in that room. So, keep on walking. Open this up. We got this. I'm glad Hank isn't on my case about doing this, you know, doing my job and actually being helpful. Because again, what would be wrong about having androids helping out with all of this stuff? I don't see the backfire. On, and then of course, yeah, like if there is going to be, so it looks like there's a little bit of a struggle there. If there's a malfunction or something, there are humans. Oh, they're saying something. What do we got here? Okay, examine the victim. Let's do this. Oh yeah, that is very uniform and ma machine-like. Examine that. Yeah, that is just such clean, perfect lines. Cyberlife sands. Wow, that is horrifying to see. Ugh, okay, so we got that one. 28 knife wounds? Holy shit, talk about overkill. Ugh. Red ice, so he was on drugs. Whether it was before or after the murder is yet to be seen. Yes, we know who this is. So it's this guy's blood. So he, this was where he was put. So this is strategic at the very end because we saw his blood on the door frame. Right, we got all this stuff. So reconstruct. Okay. So bring him back up, bring him up. Something you stepped on? Ah, the bottles, which caused him to fall. I guess that's probably where the victim, or the, uh, yep, where the assailant was. That's the word, not the assaulter. That is probably my, and this is where he grabbed to show. Yeah, that's where he came from. All right, reconstruction is complete. All right, I'm actually getting a better hang of this. I don't know if there's a chance that Connor could die here. <laughs> yep, that's overkill. How could an android have it in for somebody, though? How could an android get that emotional about it? They're red ice, we know that. Is there anything else that I can do? Nope, just keep reviewing evidence, so I need to go into the kitchen now, where there's gonna be a lot more to... Come on. I know this is something here. Ugh. Let me freaking review it! Ugh. Okay, more dry blood. So it's just showing where it all originated from, I'm guessing. 
doors thrown down, probably. Yeah, fingerprints, so that's where he either tried to defend... Exactly. They, they're they putting it much more succinctly and accurately. <laughs> it's like this game knew what it was doing when I had to review all this stuff. More strip club stuff. Android sex officially better. Interesting. Is your Android spying on you? Interesting stuff again. Now this is, again, something in real life, current day, that a lot of people are actually very concerned about, of course. They're with Ceres and Alexas and all that stuff. Uh, light coming in. Something. That's just a window view, I guess. Not necessarily any research. Oh, we're missing the knife. That's the murder weapon. There we go. <laughs> Nailed it. Uh, how many pieces of evidence do I still need? Two. Okay, there's one on the floor. Is that a bat? So this is what either he tried to use or... Did he get a crack in? That's probably hitting the skull. Traces of Therium. That's, I presume, presumably Android material. And that that's Carlos Ortiz's fingerprint. So he used that to try and ward off the Android assailant. I am nailing this investigation. Like, I don't know what's going on necessarily. I'm still working, putting the pieces together. But I would be right on top of this as an actual investigator. Now, in real life, I would absolutely crumble. Deviant was attacked, emotional shock. So, did he read the article, get paranoid, and then attack the android, which then resulted in a retaliation that was absolute overkill? Hold on, there's one more piece of evidence I'm missing. Where is it? Scan around the room. Let me check that door. There was something up with that door that I didn't get to see. If I open this door up, what do I get? Gated doors. Um, more analysis. I'm very intrigued. Okay. Uh, Wait, what? How did that work then? Uh oh. Again, perks of having an android on the scene. So it's Officer Collins? Or no, that was just Officer Collins tr tracking stuff. I'm very, I'm very intrigued. Also, I know this episode's going a little long, I apologize, but I just, I want to do chapter by chapter together almost. And something like this, I can't, I can't just cut it short. I can't, I can't leave you on the edge. Oh, I guess maybe there's something else over here apart from, uh, geez, maybe there was something more that I could have read. I don't know. Oh, uh, come on. Is it, in, is it back in the main room? I guess I'll report, but dang it. Oh wait, what's over here? There's gotta be something over here, right? Oh, hello. Come on, please be that last bit of evidence. Whoa. What? Yeah, obsessive writing. Um, R49, R49, R R A9? I'm very confused. That clearly must mean something. Oh, hello. <laughs> Just gotta look down a little bit more. What on earth is that? The proportions are all out of whack. That, that, that makes me feel uncomfortable. I'm not a fan of that. No, thank you. Please move on. Okay, there we go. There's the last piece of evidence. All right. I'm ready to go back to the lieutenant and report on my findings. Yep, back to the main room. All right, where is he? Excuse me, sir. Turn. Face. And talk. Yep. Perfect. Here we go. I gotta make sure I get these. Uh, in the kitchen. Right. I I don't think it started in the bathroom. Uh, 
So, I think the victim attacked the android with the bat. With the bat. Right, yeah. And then the android grabbed the knife. I gotta make sure I say this exactly right. That's a very dramatic pause. I didn't need all that time. The android threw the chair, the android stabbed the victim. The victim stabbed the... The android stabbed the victim. Yes. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Most likely. Okay, then what happened? Oh, jeez. That's to the living room. Because no one was out into the garden. And that's where the chair got in the way. Yes. This recreation is lining up nicely. Now the question is, where did the... Oh, boy. Whew. You tried to get away from the android. Yes. All right, that makes sense. The android murdered the victim. With the knife. 28 stabs, exactly, right? Your theory's not totally correct. True. It was damaged by the bat and lost some theory. Yes. Lost some what? Theory. Yeah, please explain that. It's the fluid that powers Android biomarkers. So it's essentially Android blood. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. But I could see it because I'm an Android. Ha ha! <laughs> there we go. Okay. Blue blood traces. See? 100%. Exactly why you need Android. Okay, there's some blue blood on the ground, on the ground, on the ground, on the ground. All right, we see all this here. This is exactly where we need to continue. But since we have that recap done, and I think Hank bought it, I think it was sound. I, I That's why you gotta be thorough about it, but I think I nailed it. So, that's where we'll stop for now. This episode has been probably the longest that the channel's seen so far. My apologies, but I hope you enjoyed it. We will be back next week to continue this investigation and figuring out what happened with the Blue Bloods. But thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this, be sure to subscribe, comment, and like, and we will see you next time. Goodbye, internet.